Hi guys. Okay. I just showed this in the reel and I am so Wait, obsessed take, with this. Where's look how cool it is. Well, this white um, is tricky on the video to get it just right, but you're right. It's like this beautiful eggshell. It's a really elegant eggshell color. It's not white, let me white. Get, like close for people. It's almost like a beautiful bone beautiful. color. Well, let me show the bone necklace. Oh, there you go. And it's about the same color. It's just, it's, this color is just so beautiful. And I wanted it to be- It's a very rich white. Yes, I don't want, well, it's, it's not, so it's not thing, white. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah. I, and I've always done that, like even in our Sophisticated house. Sophisticated I, I don't even want a white wall. I always want an eggshell wall when I drive You there. never use white in the same way that you can never wear shorts. Correct. Right. But I do drive those contractors crazy because they're like, well, it's just white. I'm like, no, it's not white. Okay, so this is amazing. This is oh, Irene. You need to talk about your outfit before you talk about the bag. My outfit. What's going on today? I don't know. You got cowboy Feeling situation. a little cowboy. You got the shoes. Yes. And then look at this nice little detail. Yes. And this. <laughs> and this. I love wearing jackets as a shirt. I think it's really fun. Okay, so anyways, sling bag. So this is combo number eleven merch. Can you believe that? I love it. So it's in this beautiful silver that I love, and it's just so perfect. I just, this is great for all year round. And the combos generally are limited time, so don't dog look like Yes, it. yes, yeah. but this one is just so special. I love it. Um, I was wearing like a kind of an uh, Irish wool, wool sweater with it, and it's just so beautiful because it picks up all these colors so wonderfully. And that piping is a nice touch. Too. Yes, the cognac piping is beautiful on it, and I'm so excited. And I paired it with um, the zebra shoulder strap, I am shorter, so I can do, I like wearing the shoulder straps with my sling bags, but I understand if you're taller and you have a larger chest, that's not gonna work. So let me do some pairings with it. So this one obviously is beautiful with the zebra. It is also beautiful, I think, with the olive, because I think it's just nice to just let the silver kind of shine and not take it over. So I'm doing a lot of neutrals with it. This denim strap that I love, now comes in the thinner strap if you're looking for a thinner version of the denim. So the denim looks really wonderful. The blue this is the thinner is, one. Yeah, this is a thinner one. So this one's really nice with it. And these are all cross bodies. That width pairs well with this. Too. Yeah, I love it. And then the black and white beaded is wonderful with that. I love that. Also any of the navy ones, even like oh, the navy beaded, like even this guy is so pretty with that. I just think these are wonderful with the blues, with the silver and the white is so elegant. The heart beaded is quite amazing with it too. Look how cute that is. I love that too. So the beaded ones are really cool with it. And then um, there was one more that I was looking at. The black chevron looks super cool with it too. So that might look really nice if you're into the chevron. So there's so many choices for this. And I just feel like this is a great medium for any of the straps really that are kind of neutral in tone. Cause I really think like, let this guy shine. So let it be neutral, not to overpower it. And it is just a wonderful number 11, Matt. Is that great? Mm -hmm. It's so pretty, it's so elegant. It'll go with anything. I love it with khaki. It'll be really nice with navy blues, nice with all cream colors. Just really goes with anything. So it's really wonderful. And this leather is so beautiful, this eggshell leather. It's so pretty. So highly suggest grabbing one of these if you're interested. It's really, really cool. Um, what else is going on? What else do we have going on? It's just. Video, Monday, what are you watching today? Monday blues a little bit. I'm like, oh, I feel like every Monday we need to have one more day because mm -hmm. our Saturdays and Sundays comprise of children's um, sports matches. Activities. And then we're always like, then you have to go to the grocery store. Then you have to do the laundry. Like there's all this cleanup that has to happen and prep. But, um, and I was, I was actually thinking about this. It's actually really important because you have to reset and resetting and resetting. It's like resetting the table, making everything clean, allows for you to be then ready for the week to come. And also at nighttime, I, I always do this at night and I know it takes an extra half an hour, but I always get things ready for the next morning. So before I go to bed, I make sure everything is kind of the, I'm a little weird OCD with the, the um, cushions. So I have to make sure the cushions are kind of fluffed up because I hate coming downstairs early in the morning and then you see like, it's all messy, it's yucky. Well, it's like an unmade like bed, you know? Yeah, I think that's what it is. So cushions are kind of all lined up, not perfect, but just kind of cleaned up a little bit. And then um, for me, I just grind the coffee, get all my vitamins out, get my bottle for the water out so that all this stuff is ready for the next morning. And I think it's really, it takes a little bit more effort, especially when you're so tired. You really need to do a video that goes through all of the steps of your 
<laughs> nighttime and Start up daytime the rituals. Yeah, actually. Right? right? There's a lot of rituals yeah. that I have yeah. to perform. But I, I do they it because... They haven't changed that much for a while. Like, you're pretty steady, largely the same. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's evolved over the last three years. Yes, because some, I, I added a lot on and then minus a lot of the stuff that I felt like was too much. And then um, and then added things that I felt like were better. So it's constant tweaking. It's like tweaking a machine. But I feel like adding the nighttime cleanup and getting it ready takes off like five or ten minutes in the morning, which sets your brains, you know, and allows for you to then focus on something else in the morning. And the time is really tight in the morning. So I feel like five to ten minutes is actually a lot that you're saving. But then I just like, I like everything prepared. That's all. So anyhow, this will be up tonight. And I highly suggest if you're interested in this, and this is a great gift for someone who has already had a sling bag, it's going to be a spectacular surprise. It's so pretty. And I'm going to start using it now. I'm just, I've been playing with it all weekend and I'm just so excited about it. So I hope you love it. I hope you love this eggshell and it's just really wonderful. We should also um, shout out to Renee for the sushi hand roll. Yes, Renee. Um, we went to, where was that? In Oakland? It was so good. We'll have to follow up for the name. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was called Yonsei and mm -hmm. it was like really right cool the concept. Box, across the street from the Fox Theater. So if you're in this area, there's like a really cool like sushi place where it's like all the really ro cute rolls, but they're on a block and it's surprisingly filling. Like this one came with four in rolls, a good way. five rolls, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I might be hungry. I was so full. It was a great amount. It was like five like hand rolls, but somehow that really filled me up. Yeah, not crazy price. And the omakase was nice. It was a good variety. It was variety, delicious. So it was like, really fun. Definitely recommend that. And then we went and saw one of uh, Matt's uh, classmates from college uh started a did they start that in college their band they started just after right after would you call that a band or what are they yeah i think so right so they're yeah. like a she's so cool so it's called pink martini and it's um what are their names china china Forbes, Forbes, thomas lauderdale. and thomas lauderdale the most talented um musicians so china ford is the singer and her voice is like i was telling matt it's like songwriter too songwriter is like butter it's it's so beautiful and then thomas lauderdale makes i was like i wish she, that it... they were saying that she won an award the montreal award, yeah. award it was like ella fitzgerald yeah. and billy holiday had yeah won. so she's she's in the glee of her own she's beautiful she's so, she's so beautiful looking like her she's so like with the red lipstick and so she's an entertainer fantastic with Talented her shiny outfit yeah. yeah and i was like oh how fun she gets to wear this fabulous. costume yeah he's so cool but he's kind of like just chilled Oh, he's not chill. Oh, he's not? <laughs> no. he's, well, compared to her. No, not really? at all. No, he's, well, I mean, maybe he was a little chill that night, but yeah, he's dynamic. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's both amazing. And then their band is amazing. Each one of the musicians are so talented. But I think what I loved, and I was telling Matt, they're all very well-traveled. So they bring like different, um, different no sounds yeah. that are not normal to the particular um, musical instrument but they're playing presented in their own way too. and it, that's why it's so interesting yeah. to me so they're and they're influenced by the country they come from or the countries they've lived in or traveled to like that guy who is the guitarist yeah he has a real california vibe to his guitar playing but then that mixed with this type of music which is kind of jazz and, and the bass bluey. player is italian yeah and then the uh, the uh, bongo and drum cuban, player is cuban so he brings his own flair and then the percussion vocalist japanese American. yeah it's super cool so but if you're in la um they're playing that disney, at the venue, disney venue new year's, new year's eve, eve yes which is a big venue so tour tickets are with yes you know, and i highly tickets. suggest checking them out if you're like oh i want something new to listen to and if you love ella fitzgerald and that genre of music I think you would really love this. It was a fantastic, like it was so fantastic. I didn't want it to end. They're it was so fun. A force of good. Yeah, they're so great. So that was really fun. We went and watched that this weekend. So that was a good weekend. It was fun. We got out. Matt and I were like, we need to get out more often and oh, do yeah. stuff. So where we live, it's kind of hard a little bit. No, it's, we need to get our, we need to pull ourselves by our bootstraps and get out more. I think yeah. we're doing a better job. Yeah, yeah. We'll just keep at it. Yeah, yeah. San Francisco's tough to go out at night these days, though, I would have to say. No, you find your way. Yeah. It's a little... Well, I mean, you, you don't do it in a non-mindful way. you got to be careful where you go and mm -hmm. what's happening, mm -hmm. but it's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because it, I feel safer in New York than I do in San Francisco, to tell you the yeah, truth. You saw those stats today, right? Minneapolis is like four times more violent crimes than us, but New York double. I mean, we're in the news politically. Everyone's saying it's so horrible, but... 
I don't know what goes on, but like you, I think what it is for me personally, New York, I feel like there's pockets and the pockets where we go into, you're not faced with some of the stuff where it's like unexpected craziness in like the place that you're like pretty used to. And that's where it, it's really kind of weird because you, I've grown up here. We've gone to San, you know, we lived in San Francisco, but I, I think the crime is everywhere. So there's nowhere to feel like there's a pocket of safety in a way. Like you don't know what's gonna come out at you. Anywhere, you, even if you, it's your house where it's like the most safest street that you've been on. Like, you know what, come that's, on. A, that's a good point. It's true. You're right, so, I mean, you still get nasty surprises if you're in the Upper East Side or Upper West Side, stuff like that. Yeah, but not happens. like that, where it's like literally coming out at you at every Maybe other that's corner. it, so maybe it's not the so like weird. total rate of issues, but it's that uncertainty. Everywhere. Which is stressful. Yeah, yeah because, you know, or even like downtown, you know, it's like you're feeling pretty good on certain streets. Or even out in the burbs, right? Like yeah. Walnut Creek's weird stuff going on. Yeah, I, I don't know what's Pete, going remember on. Remember all the stuff down in um, Temescal and on College? Yeah, uh, yeah it's, mean, it's just, it's everywhere. And that's what the crazy part is. It's just, it's unexpected too. Where So that's why you can't let your guard down and you're always like, oh my God, am I going to be robbed? Right. And, right. Like, and in New York, you can you know where to go and where not to go mm -hmm. and what kind of risk you're taking if you go certain places more so. Yeah. yeah, in LA the same. I think it's it's the same. So it's really weird um, and it's a really a new thing. And I have to tell you that because we've grown up here. I've you grown up like here. You did that before? Never. Like there's no way, way like I feel like where we had the kids up on, you know, Sacramento Street. There's, But stuff is just coming out at you out of nowhere. And you're like, whoa, this is crazy. So I don't know, I think I don't know what's going on. Let's but just say there's definitely room for improvement. <laughs> yes, I think so too. But I think, you know, be smart. I don't want to let it no. make me you gotta be smart about my it. house. You just need to be... We're just smart about it now. We just figure out where we're going to park ahead of time. Like, stuff like that. And just got to be smart about it. Oh, but, yeah, by the way, we parked in that... I think the city of Oakland just made a big deal out of improving that parking lot. Okay. And it's one block from the Fox. It's five bucks all night. And there's security guards on every level. So it's clean. Okay. Go try that. Okay. What? Matt's Matt's a lot more. Um, you're a lot more uh, uh, adventurous, yeah. I would say, than I. Yeah. I come along, like sometimes kicking and screaming. I ready, ready to comment. Like silent, <laughs> silent, and I'm scared. <laughs> but but then when I get there, I'm fine. It's just sometimes it's a little uncomfortable. That's all. But it's fine. It's 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 just there's room for improvement. It's smart to be sure. aware. Yeah, for sure. And I'm not gonna cherry coat it. I think for sure if you're visiting San Francisco, um, just be careful. That's all. You gotta be careful anywhere you go. But it's just a little bit more. Um, just not. I have to get my bearings because I. It's just everywhere. I don't feel safe. It's really weird. It's coming at you at the most strangest locations where you shouldn't feel uncomfortable because your whole life you're like this is so safe on the street right so you can't take that for granted but whatever it's all good times are changing you got to change at the times or else you can't be locked up in your house all day so, so just watch local news know what's going on yeah local news is good get, get the citizen app yeah just know what's going on and where it's going down exactly exactly but that was fun check out pink martini and check out this new beautiful beautiful combo 11. 11. All right. Bye, guys.